Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Get in here. Get in here. Go get your drinks. We're going to need them tonight. You're going to need a good cocktail for tonight. Happy Sunday. We're just going to call it communion. Go get your glasses. We're going to give everybody a minute to get in here and we are going to get started because I've got several things to sip and cuss about tonight. So let me do a little bit of a roll call. Ladies, if you are here, say hi and uh, hit the thumbs up. It looks like we have Connie Galloway, CF, hello, hello. Crystal Cooley, welcome. Happy Sunday, ladies. So glad that you were able to join. Uh, Dancing with Nature 925, welcome. I really enjoy your IG uh, post. Hello, Diva. Hello, Naomi. Ladies, I was just telling those that were already in the chat, go ahead and grab your drink while you're saying your hellos because I have a full roster of Sip and Cuss topics uh, tonight. There is a bag. It's tied into the Sip and Cuss, but we're going to get there. Hello, DJ King. Make sure you got your glass tonight. You ladies get comfortable. Get ready to hang back. Send out the little people. Send out any other people that pee standing up. Tell them this is your time. Hello, Lucinda. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Hello, Ingrid. Get your drinks, ladies. You're going to need them tonight. We're sipping and cussing. So, oh, that's good. DJ King, you may need a whole bottle tonight because I have one, two, three, four, five sip and cuss topics. So it's going to get, it's, it's make that six. I flipped the page. Hi, sus. We're sipping and cussing tonight. Make sure that you have your drink. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Check out the other ladies in the, in the chat. But we are about to dive in because this one has the potential to go long. And I didn't bring a full bottle in here. I just brought a glass. We may have to take an intermission tonight. <laughs> we may need an intermission like they do at the um, at the opera so that everybody can, you know, go take a potty break and, and uh, get themselves together and come back in. So here's the first topic and of course everything tonight is dooney every this is a dooney sipping cuz it's been a minute since we've had any kind of sipping cuz hi Rosalind, go grab your glass you gonna need it tonight it's been a minute since i have done a, a purely dooney sipping cuz hi og but tonight i have seven different issues with dooney that um, are dating back, not that far, believe it or not. That's how bad the issues have been. Um, there is a bag. The bag is the last topic of the sip and cuss, but we're, we're going to get there. Hi, Mo. Hi, Keisha. All right. So here is the first issue. It's, it's not going to surprise you. I think the issue may surprise you, you know what the issue is going to surprise you but then again it's not all right so i ordered a bag great price took two weeks for the bag to ship took another week and a day for the bag to arrive i was so excited about this bag I was excited about it because you've seen the putty color. No, you saw the strawberry color on my channel. We're talking about the Camden woven tote. 
the midnight, the blue, the navy color, whatever it was, whatever they call that color, it finally reappeared on ILD and I picked it up. Dooney ILD, all the same to me. It's selling the same bags. So bag finally get box finally gets here. Box is in great condition, which surprises me because it has taken the slow boat from the West Coast. And I opened the box and there were a couple of other items that I purchased at the same time. So first thing I was surprised and utterly amazed that they managed to ship everything at the same time. Because I don't know how many of you have experienced it, but you buy maybe a couple of items from Dooney and then you end up, instead of getting one box, you end up, maybe if you are ordered three items, you could end up with anywhere from two to three boxes because everything's shipping separately or from different warehouses. Those other items were good, except this tote. And I don't know who in this community bought that bag, carried that bag, beat the hell out of that bag, packed it up, and then returned it. But Dooney packed it up and shipped it to me. And I sure as hell packed it back up and returned it to Dooney, but not before I called customer service. And let me tell you, I remember the guy's name, customer service, but I'm not going to put him on blast because he was following the rules. Somebody gave him a sorry script and he read it. He did what he was supposed to do. But what he said to me as I asked, are you all selling returns and used bags now? And I quote, he said, no, ma'am. When we receive return merchandise, we destroy the bag. That's how quiet I got on the phone. Because I was trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out how I was going to politely and professionally clap back and let him know that is definitely not what's happening with return bags. That's not, no way. So, you know, I went to law school because I like to argue and I'm going to win. So we had a little conversation and I will just tell you that he died on the hill with that argument because I asked for his email address so that I could send him the picture proof that what I had received was in fact not only a return, but it was in fact a heavily used bag. Y'all, this bag, you if you remember DJ King, if you remember Phenomenal Personality, if you remember even my video on Camden on the Strawberry Tote, you know that that Camden leather is very structured. And then after it's carried, it does soften up a little bit. It becomes a little bit more malleable. But until that happens, it feels very structured like Florentine or like Beacon or like Solera. It's a very structured leather when you first get it. This bag didn't even have the original stuffing. When it arrived which is case number one, It the, the top of the bag wasn't even zipped. You could see the raggedy, torn, this sticking out the top because it wasn't even zipped. Let me show you that again. This, what, this the first thing I saw when I opened the box was this sticking out the top of the bag inside the plastic. They don't ever ship a new bag like that next thing you know how your plastic on a bag is nice and clear 
Where's the green bag? You know how your, 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 your plastic is nice and clear so you can see your bag all through the plastic? Y'all know what I'm talking about because this is what it looks like when we get a new bag. Let me give you a description of what this bag plastic looked like. It looked milky. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Like it's an old plastic bag. Like it's been sitting out in your garage or weathered. Like it's old dried plastic. That's what it looked like. It also did not have the tags hanging on the bag. It didn't have this little number in the bag. All of the paperwork was stuffed in a pocket in the inside and want to guess what was missing? The sticker and the registration card. It was not there. So there is no way that you can convince me based on this community and my own personal experiences, Peter, that all of the returns are being destroyed. I don't care how many times somebody gets a bag and they don't like it. It doesn't have a pocket. The shoulder drop isn't what they like. The trim isn't what they thought. It didn't have the feet. I thought it was going to be bigger. I thought it was going to be littler. Yes, I said littler. It's going to be smaller. Oh, it's not the color of the picture. Y'all know the 9,000 reasons that people come up with for returning a bag. There's no way that you are telling me that all of those bags come back into the warehouse and they are destroyed and not shipped back out when another customer places an order. There's no way that's happening. And if they are doing it, it won't last for long because financially, you're just throwing money away. You just th even to your QVC even sales used slightly damaged previously been to somebody else's house bags. So there is no way that Dooney, Peter, customer service, Florida, Norwalk or California can convince me that all of those bags are being destroyed. Case in point. Y'all remember my experience with the Leisure Shopper and how I ended up having to return that one because the one that shipped to me from the warehouse was in fact a used bag? I returned that bag in person to an outlet, purchased another one, and I was still in the store when the SA put it on the counter to be sold. Y'all not destroying return merchandise. So that's the reason we're starting with the sip and cuss tonight. So that's topic number one. I guess it's kind of two because the lie that customer service told me is one topic. And then that Camden being woven, used, beat up was definitely number two. So we're going to keep expanding this list. All right. Let me give you another Dooney mishap so i ordered an alto bag i actually ordered two alto bags before discounts thirteen hundred dollars worth of alto bags and i had toiled over this purchase or these these purchases but I finally decided, you know what? YOLO, I'm getting them. So I order two Alto bags. They do not ship together. And it takes them two weeks to ship. I got another sip and cuss about how, about the timing of how things ship. Just get your drink, just hang out. I promise you, we going through it tonight. So it takes two weeks for the bag to arrive. Bag arrives on September 15th. On September 16th, 
I called to get a return label. Why did I get a return? Why did I ask for a return label? Because one of my Alto bags was shipped perfectly in the appropriate size box. Perfect. It's coming. I'm going to show it to you. But I'll be honest, I've really been in my feelings about that whole experience. But the bag is coming. The 16th, I called and get a return label because one of them shipped perfectly. The other one was stuffed. Do you hear me? Alto leather folded. Let that register for a minute. I'm going to say it again. Alto leather folded in a two little box. The second bag. That bag was in red. So y'all already know. I'm hot to say the least. Get the label. And so arrives on the 15th. 16th, I get the return label. The 17th, I take it to the post office or to the, I'm sorry, to the UPS store in the pouring down rain. That was on September 17th. On September the 20th, three days later, I call customer service and they confirm for me that they have in fact received my return. Received on the 15th, label on the 16th, shipped on the 17th, received back by Dooney on the 20th. September 20th. Keep those dates in mind. September 20th. September 25th, I think, I called customer service for an update. They said, yes, we have received the bag and we have noted that you do not want a refund. That is correct because the bag was damaged by your warehouse folks. So I would like an exchange because the promotion is no longer valid and I don't want to lose my Ebates on this purchase. I just want y'all to ship it back to me, new bag, in the right size box. All right. They said at that point, mind you, I'd already put, in all, the, put all the notes and stuff on the return form. They say to me, well, we can now submit your request and see if a supervisor will approve an exchange. That was on 25th. By the 29th, I still didn't have an update. So I called, spoke with another customer service person. They gave me the same runaround. Asked for a supervisor to call me back because I just need, I mean, at this point, Y'all have my money and you have your merchandise back. This whole situation started on the 15th because that's when it actually arrived. Keep in mind, I ordered the bag two weeks before that. So at this point, we're talking about a month in the making for this transaction. Nobody called me back. I called back again on the same day, right before they closed. And the update that I got was... Ma'am, by October the 5th, mind you, this is on September 29th. So we're talking about another five days, six days. We may have an answer back on an exchange. But if we do not, your refund will be submitted by October the 5th. So basically, I ordered the bag around the 1st of September, two weeks to ship it, 15th got it, 16th label, 17 returned it, 20th they received it, 25th calls, 
29th double calls, no call back from the supervisor. And then I'm told we'll have an update for you back by October 5th. And I said, well, what if I want to go ahead and purchase the bag again? Like, can y'all just do an even exchange, right? Because if I were standing in a duty store and I had something that I was going to return and I was going to buy something else, they would just apply that money to the new purchase. And if there's a difference... I would pay the difference um, if I owed it or they would refund me the difference. That's that's basic retail transactions. That's the way that works. So they have my money. They have my bag there. Now, my points are on hold because I've got a pending return. Finally, on Friday the credit back to my account came. Now, here's the thing. They did say, ma'am, we will note the account so that when you are ready to make the purchase over the next 60 days, we will honor the price. But if you would like to use Dooney Pay, you will not be able to. If you would like to use any of your points, you will not be able to. And I said, I'm also not going to be able to get my Ebates rebate back because I would have to call in, place the order via the phone, and then wait yet again for the transaction to process and pay it all up front because you cannot... Uh, they don't allow you to do a Dooney pay if they are honoring some previous promotion, which I caught the devil with them agreeing to because it was supposed to be an exchange. Y'all, every time I think about that, every time I think about the money that I spent, I mean, business must be booming with Dooney because they would rather give me my money back for an Alto bag purchase than to exchange it and keep the money. $1,300 before the discounts. And this was, I made that purchase Labor Day weekend. So I can't remember whether it was a 20 five or 30, whatever the promotion was that weekend is what the discount was. All right. So let's get back to my bag that was mishandled. The bag that I bought is about this big. And it has handles. It's a structured bag. And they decided that they were going to put it in one of those boxes like they would ship a leisure shopper in. Not the right size box. So the warehouse associate got creative. I guess they were going to save the company some money on the shipping based on putting it in the side of, size of box. So they stuffed the base of it down in the box and then took the straps and everything else and pressured this part down and pulled the handles up and squished, that's a technical term, it down in the box and sealed it. Well, that's not how you handle Alto leather because it's structured. It keeps its shape. And once you beat the life out of it, then it will flop and flail like any other leather. But if you treat Alto leather the way it is supposed to be treated as a structured bag, if you store it properly, it will maintain its very structured shape. Handles will stand up. It will stand at attention. It will start developing this beautiful patina. The color gets richer. It just becomes even better. 
But I guess they, again, were trying to demonstrate some fiscal responsibility for the company. And they forced it in this two little box. And when they did that, it caused a break or a bend in the leather at the top and with the handles. So the handles would no longer stand. To me, that's damage. That's on your end. You should just exchange that. Nope. Got my money back. And I'm so glad because I had gone a little loony for Dooney. Got sucked into the Dooney vortex. And these experiences have caused me to pull back again a little bit from the side. I know y'all know y'all been seeing a little bit more Dooney. I do still have some other stuff coming. But it's these kinds of experiences that cause me to pull back and say, you know what? Back in this abusive relationship again. I don't, why, why am I subjecting myself to this? Why? Battered wife's syndrome. That's what it is. All right. We're going to talk about returns again. Again. Again, we'll talk about returns again, because this is an issue that is created within this community. We create this issue ourselves and then we complain about it when we have caused the issue. Back to that Camden being well broken in, carried, loved. And then I guess somebody said, oops. I'm about at the end of my, my 60 day returns. I better get it packed up and send it back to Dooney so I can get something else or get my money back. Let me say this. Do y'all know what's going on in the world right now? I know it's like unprecedented, fresh new for 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 the all of the for the for most of the generations that are living right now. We are in a global pandemic that is killing people that is literally wreaking havoc on their health if it does not kill them. Let me say this. If you have a bag that is damaged, if you have Florentine that is jacked up, by all means return it. That gavel down, that is the law as far as I'm concerned within this community. But given the education level, given the professional levels, given the income levels of the people in this community, I do not understand why some people don't do their research before they make a purchase and have their coins tied up waiting on shipping and returns and credits and all this other stuff Nobody wants your return. COVID doesn't always show symptoms in everybody. Some of us are living in hot spots. All it does is create additional issues. Nobody wants your return. Don't, if you need a pocket on your bag, Look at all the pictures until you can find on all the different websites on whether or not that bag has a pocket. Watch videos, look at Macy's, look in debt, look on Dillard's, go to the store, call customer service. If a pocket is a deal breaker for you, then do your research and find out whether or not that bag has a pocket before you buy it. If a shoulder drop is a deal breaker for you, do your research and find out, is it going to meet your criteria? Because if it doesn't, then you've just created a return and nobody wants the bag from your house. No, you may not have COVID. You may not have anybody sick, but you may. That's just facts. That's just facts. We're in a global pandemic 
And as much as we are trying to sanitize and clean and mask and cover and this, that, and the other, we don't know what's going on at your house. And quite honestly, I don't want what's going on at your house, good, bad, or indifferent, tromping through the front door or into the garage at mine. So the fact that we are still, we complain, complain, complain about returns. But here's the thing. There aren't any little Martians buying bags and returning them. It's the community that's doing it. So if we would just kind of fall back a little bit, do a little bit of research instead of letting FOMO kick in, because a lot of the returns are the result of FOMO. It is. Not to be confused with DJ King's FOMO, first of many others, it's the fear of missing out. So you jump in and get something because you want it and because everybody else is getting it or because there are tons of videos or whatever is going on in the community at that time, knowing you should know good and well that that bag is not going to work for you. I don't know how many more times we can talk about returns. Like, just stop. Can we just, 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 Right now, let's just make a pledge, hands up, hands on the keyboard, and just say, I pledge to not engage in returns. You don't want returns. I hope that Dooney destroys returns. I know they don't. But it bothers me to think that the damaged bag that I returned is going to be sent to somebody else's house. It's going to be sent to somebody else's house. Let me say it again. They're not destroying the bags. Somebody else is going to order that bag and they're going to get it and it's going to be jacked up. And worse than them getting it and getting it jacked up is that they didn't do their research to know that when they pull it out the box that it is jacked up. That they don't know that the handles are supposed to stay in or that they don't understand that it's a structured bag. We've got to do our due diligence, got to do our research and pledge that unless something is just absolutely a trope, right, the, the leather is broken. They stuffed it in too little of a bag. The Florentine leather is like smooth on one half and completely pebbled on the other. Those are things that anybody, I think, would understand. And for most of us, that would be a return that we would send back and most likely it would end up probably in a sample box or at a tent sale because anybody else that received it at their home is going to call and get a return label because that bag should have never been shipped out. But some of these other situations like, oh, it didn't have a pocket. There's a way you can find out whether it has a pocket before you order it if that's a deal breaker. Oh, the shoulder drop was too short. There's a way for you to find that out before you pull the trigger and it resorts to or results in a return. Look, it is what it is. Let's talk about Dooney and this order processing. Because remember I said it took two weeks for my bag to ship. So check this out. Different customer service person, different day different issue different bag because like I said I've been busy buying Dooney and although the bags or the boxes have shown up in much 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 better condition they are not getting here any quicker and the processing isn't any faster and the shipping information is still kind of hit or miss and don't even get me started on updating of the loyalty dashboard with the little green checks because who knows how that's working. All right, so Dooney order processing. So here is what customer service told me about processing. And this was, when I inquired, I inquired on both ILD and Dooney. So check this. Once you place an order, Dooney takes three to five days for processing. So basically, before they confirm the inventory and before they finalize their 
batch, their credit card batch to claim that money from your bank, you place the order and they have three to five days to order process. Then they take another three days to basically confirm your order. Are y'all following me? And it's business days, not calendar days. So weekends don't count. Then they reserve another three days for shipping. And then depending on the method that they use for shipping your package, whether it's UPS, whether it's FedEx, whether it's going to be delivered by the postal office or whether it's going to be delivered by the actual carrier, you add on the additional shipment time. Not always. And I know we got some stuff going on with coach. We're going to get there. Not tonight because this is all about Dooney. But I have literally placed orders on both coach.com and coachoutlet.com in the morning. And by lunchtime or no later than three o'clock in the afternoon, I've already received shipment information, tracking information for a bag. Same day. It doesn't happen every time, but it does happen more often than it has ever happened with Dooney. I do not understand why if you say you have merchandise and this is how much you want for the merchandise and I go look at said merchandise and say, I will pay you that for that piece of merchandise. Here is my money. Now, again, that equation is off balance because now you have both my money and your product. So I'm without anything. And then you take your time processing the order, confirming the order, packing the order with less than stellar care and shipping it slow boat from wherever your warehouse is, pick a location. Do they not understand that like companies that were not sh even shipping or didn't even have a warehouse where a, a website presence during COVID kicked into high gear because they realized that if they were not doing some of these things that they were going to go out of business. And then you have companies that have been around for as long as Dooney with the resources, right? Because these are not inexpensive purchases. And they still have not updated their customer service policies and processing and refunds and exchanges and stuff to mirror what the rest of the retail industry is doing. Now, yeah, no, we don't necessarily want fast fashion. I know that's what everybody else is doing. But really, I do think that it is time for Dooney to really take a look at their systems yet again and their customer service policies because antiquated doesn't even seem to accurately describe how ancient their policies are. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I, that's, that's it. That's all I'm saying. They need some help. And they need it fast. They need it going into 2021 so that they can kick off 2021 accurately, better, improved. What, pick a word. That's what they need. All right. We're about at the part where you get to see a bag. If you have not already hit the thumbs up, I'm going to ask that you do so. It's 52 of you hanging out, but only 26 of you have um, registered for class and said, I'm here, teacher. I'm here. I'm here. I'm present for roll call. So if you would go ahead and do that. So a bag that I purchased. I inquired about this bag because it had been over two weeks and it had not arrived either. 
go figure, right? That's the one thing that Dooney does consistently is delay shipping and processing your orders. We have all had a positive experience. They are meeting expectations according to their policies in that. It's just not meeting customer expectations. And that's where the revisions need to happen. So I call, give the order number to the customer service person, and I'm telling them what is on the order. <laughs> and the customer service rep says, yes, ma'am, we have a black tote for you. And it has been shipped from our California distribution center, and it's supposed to arrive on, I think it was October 1st, I think is when it arrived. And I said, yeah, um, I, I didn't order a black tote. So we've, we've got a problem if that's what you shipped me because I didn't order a black tote. I said, um, I did order an East West shopper. And he said, no, ma'am. I'm looking at the picture. What you ordered is a black tote. Yeah, let me let me go back in my email. Let me give you the order number again. Let me give you the item number because I I know I hadn't ordered another black anything. I, I've I've hit my quota for black this year. I three. I didn't order another one. I would I would remember that. So I don't know whether somebody got the bag return the bag and put the wrong label on it. I don't know whether it just got keyed in the system wrong. I, I don't know what happened, but we finally agree to disagree. We have the same order number. We had the same item number, but we had very different descriptions of the bag that was ordered. I was very relieved when the bag got here and I opened the box and was able to confirm that it was not a solid black bag because that was a no. Um, but it would not be a feed your addiction if somebody didn't land in the enabler corner. And that's where military mom comes in. Military mom is in the enabler corner tonight, not for this bag, but for this collection. She made a purchase of a bag that um, was in red and black. You would think that the red and black would have caught my attention. And as she describes it, it is a Buffalo check, also known as the Tucker collection. So this bag checks all except one feature. Well, two, two features. It's a shopper and it doesn't have feet and, and it doesn't have an outside pocket, but it's got length, it's got depth, it top zips, it has an amazing shoulder drop, and it is in spectator classic black and white buffalo check. I know when this collection first released, we were, some of us were like, that's the best Dooney could come up with. Like we've seen the houndstooth collection, which I have in black and white. Um, I also have black and white boots. I have black and white Mary Janes. I have black and white sandals. I have a black and white HB jet setter. I have a black and white coat. I have black and white blouses, black and white blazers. I have solid white, solid black. You have solid red. So a buffalo check or a houndstooth as a print with other things She's just in a slump bag crazy. She'll be back. Um, that black and white spectator just is so 
classic that it can just go with so many other things. So I'm going to show this one to you. I know it's not for everybody. And I'm so glad that it's not because I hate, you know, as much as I love Dooney watching and I spy Doonies and seeing Doonies in the wild, I really like seeing different Doonies. Um, and this one is. And let me tell you a secret. Only paid $65 for it from ILD. And here she is. Black and white and gray, buffalo check, black Safiano leather in the tram. It is a coated cotton or coated canvas. No feet under the bottom, but look at this length and check out her butt. She's got plenty of space. She fits my work laptop. I can get a water bottle in here if I want to. She does not have any side pockets. But as you can tell, she actually kind of gives a little bit more. Um, she's got a little bit more volume at the top. She's top heavy. She's a little busty girl, right? She got a little bit more here at the top than she does at the bottom. She kind of has a little bit of a flare, little wings. And I just love the look of the lines. Just, I mean, I it is not for everybody. I get it. I'm glad because I wouldn't have been able to get it. And I surely wouldn't have been able to get it for $65.34. Mm-hmm, $65.34. Don't, it was on, on a, yeah, $65.34. So here's the front gold hardware that actually against it almost, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but against the black, white, and the gray, the hardware almost looks silver with the contrast in the background, but it is in fact a gold plate. Would have been ideal if there was a back outside zip pocket, say starting right around here, kind of right under the straps for um, the shoulder straps, like putting a big pocket here that kind of ran like this, that would have been great, but it does not have an outside pocket. And again, no feet. But look at this shoulder drop. Look at this. She's, she's a good one. She's a good one. She has... Um, Aha, you know what? Mystery solved. On the website, they did in fact have her listed as black and white. But look here, look at how the color. They are calling her in fact a black buffalo chick, not black and white. And it's the East West Shopper and the um, color code is actually black, black, BLBL. -BL. So that, that solves that. I didn't look at that when I was taking it out the plastic and stuff, but it in fact does say black there. So he called it by the right thing. I called it by the description it had on the site. So glad we were having the same conversation. So that's it. Just trying to give you a chance to take down any of the numbers if you want to inquire about whether or not it's still available. And as you can tell, from 248 to 65 bucks, that was a really, really nice discount. Let's dig into it. So, she has Plenty, 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 plenty of stuffing. Red cotton twill lining. She's deep. And she has a zipper top. So security, travel, preference whatever it is that top zip is amazing 
here on the inside and it does it the zipper lays flat so if you wanted to use it as an open tote you could it does have the extended zipper not fully extended you know it doesn't pull out but enough that it opens up really wide so that you can see every content in the inside of this bag against that gorgeous red cotton twill lining. It has in military mom's terms, it has the SDS or the standard Dooney setup. So two slip pockets on the back wall. I'm saying on two slip pockets on the front wall and then on the back wall, you have the Safiano leather leather patch and you have a slip and a zip. Here's what I also like to note. If you all remember when Mono's Beauty did her zip top Ashton and pointed out the defect on the, the positioning of the pockets, right? Because the pockets and the zipper were all up really close right underneath where the zipper flap was. So she would actually have to, you know, maneuver the zipper flap in order to be able to get in. They got it right on this one. All of that, uh oh, all of that falls well, all of the pockets fall well below where the top of the zipper is, even folded in using it as a tote. So you don't have to worry about any gymnastic moves to try to get inside your slip pockets or your zipper pockets. I love this. It's got an extra long key keeper, um, nylon key keeper. It is a coated cotton so it did not come with a um a dust cover but i do have a couple of extras because they've been sending like the the blue and the white with some of the other bags so i've got some extra so that's not a big deal but what i do um like about this is depending on what winter looks like where you live you may opt to carry coated canvas, coated cotton in the cooler weather. I mean, yeah, in the cooler weather months where someone that lives in a much warmer climate may prefer to carry their lighter indestructible bags during the summer. It checks all of those because black and white is just as clean, chic and classic in the summertime as black and white is any other time of the year. So although I purchased it with fall and winter in mind, if I have on a black sundress or a little black t-shirt dress or something along those lines, and I'm really looking to kind of pull everything together and polish it, but to kind of add a little bit of interest, that's where my other black and white bags, accessories, et cetera, come in so that it provides a cohesive look, but it also has a little bit of personality to it. And Dooney did not skimp on the straps. They have a nice thickness on the shoulder straps. They are completely sealed front and back. So there's not like any raw leather or anything on the sides. The stitch work is classic Dooney, so I didn't get a $65 stitch job. I got their usual $248 stitch job, which is quality. No loose threads. I know that there had kind of been some loose threads and, you know, every once in a while you'll have something like that that will happen with a bag. You just have to kind of know, you know, what to do or if it's a deal breaker for you, then send it back, right? Um, but those are things that can be easily repaired with either scissors or tweezers. You can easily fix a loose thread, not a broken thread, but a loose thread. The corner panels on this bag to kind of help with the edge wear. 
I love that it kind of starts at the corner, but then it kind of tapers up because the bag has the wings on it at the top. So that's going to help to preserve your corner, um, you, you, you know, preserve your corners from wear. And then it's almost got a little bit of the leisure, um, a leisure, you know, those corner tabs, they have that front and back. Not to mention the bottom of this bag. I know how we like our reinforced bottoms. We don't like the saggy diaper bottom look. It has Safiano under the bottom to provide some reinforced structure. The only thing I wish is that it had either two um, Safiano strips with the feet on it, or if it had four or even five, it probably should have five or six feet on it just because of the size of this bag. So, you know, when this collection was originally launched, because it's been out for a while, I was not moved. Um, I was mainly not moved because at the time, the size of the bags that were available just were not of interest to me. They were smaller bags. And if you want to see what some, maybe one of the other smaller size bags looks like, then do go over and check out Military Mom's channel. Um, but I don't recall ever seeing this one. So I feel like it was, in fact, a true hidden gem. I absolutely love the fact that it's not a straight black bag. Y'all have heard me say it a million times that if I'm going to do black, it needs to have some interest to it. And this one, it checks it checks the box, right? I got my, my stitching, my black Safiano, got some 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 buffalo check that is not um, you know, all one color. It's got some dimension to it, got a good shoulder drop, zipper, top, trim, top and bottom and sides. So I really like it. I may come back at another time and show you the hounds tooth because that's an old collection. It may have even been a Dillard's exclusive at some point, but I think I bought two, two bags, three bags, two bags, two bags out of that one. Classic black and white hounds tooth. Love, love. Uh, I, you know, one of them has probably been kind of worn out. And then now I have this one, plus I have the HB Jet Setter, which was a part of their final holiday collection. So that is not only a sip and cuss, but yet another reason why we need Dooney to make things black and white. Make it plain, make it simple. Check, you know, catch up with the rest of um, Retail America and... Um, on that note, with all of the black and white issues we've been having with Dooney, I'm kind of glad that I have, um, I have uh, secured my little $65 fine. So, Mrs. Q, are you on this weekend or off this weekend? I know you said that we're missing a weekend, but I think you're here this weekend and then gone next weekend for For Real Friday. Is that right? Yes. On this week, this Friday, off next Friday. So we will all be back together on Mrs. Q's channel for For Real Friday. If you have not checked out, DJ King has a new video up. Phenomenal Personality has her post of Bag Band Island. Um, Mrs. Q has the pretty picture tag, bag, tag. That's a mouthful. I think I called it right. Um, she has that up, and she also has an Instagram post up. Um, who else? Mo posted a bag video this week. Um, Miss Brandy215 has a new video up. Um, who else? Let me think. Charge it to my head, not my heart. I'm trying to, let me see if I can get to my watch history. So, yep. Phenomenal personality. DJ King, Mrs. Q. Then Mo. We also had, 
Okay, those are not in this community. So let me keep trolling. Um, Candy Crusher has a video up. Um, I did already say Miss Brandy215. Who else am I missing that I watched right before? I got Mo. Oh, Reshmi Beauty Around the World. She has another video up. Oh, Duty Girl 75. Duty Girl 75 has new videos. Carmen Hawkins has um, Pandora. She has her fall bag. And she has a Brahmin um, video up. Um, there's content to be watched. Yeah, Honey is Natural. Yeah, so there are lot, lots of videos. Make sure that you are supporting all of the amazing content creators in this community. Um, if you're not following me on, oh yeah, Lisa J's World, Honey is Natural, OG Cherie. Yes, Noble Strength also has a video up. It's in my, it's saved in my watch later list because I got, I got a save watch later list for when I'm doing other stuff so that I can stay occupied. Um, so just make sure that you're checking out the amazing content creators in this community. Please hit the thumbs up before you head out. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm at dutyaddict615. Please follow me there. We have a lot of different stuff going on on Instagram, but I enjoy that space when we're not real here. Um, there will also be, I think I have another video scheduled for this Saturday, so don't forget about that. Um, it, it, listen, spend your money when, where, and how you like. We work hard. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We all need something to keep our spirits lifted. My request, the community's request is that you just do a little bit of research before you pull the trigger to again, try to minimize the returns. And from a customer service standpoint, I would hope that each and every one of you have found your voice when it comes to customer service. And that when somebody feeds you a line, like we destroy return bags, we don't, we sell them. That you have, as my grandmother would say, enough gumption to enter into that conversation with a position and that you argue how you know that the information that they are presenting to you is not factual. That's where it lands. That's it. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate you um, continuing to watch my playlist and some of the pre-recorded videos and old lives. I do not take it for granted that you click on my videos when you are researching a bag or trying to familiarize yourself with something that you are considering. I do appreciate that. I don't ever want you to think that because I don't want your return that I don't want you watching. I want you watching, I want you here, I want you active in the community. I want you taking advantage and getting all of the perks and bells and whistles and new friends and new relationships that come with a very active handbag community. Because one thing we do here, one thing we do on For Real Fridays is we tell the truth. We don't sugarcoat it. We give the good, the bad, the ugly. And it is not for the faint of heart. So if you are only looking for the good, if you're only looking for the positive, if you are only looking for spin, then you absolutely are in the wrong place. But if you want an unbiased opinion, the good, the bad, the ugly, then you are in the right place. Mrs. Q and I are absolutely thrilled to have you participate in our lives. We want you here. We are not opposed to a, an opposed point of view. 
We just ask that you do it with respect. That's it. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.